it's an edge of the seat sport. You pay for the whole seat, but you'll only need the edge. It's a very visual sport. You can freeze this really fast paced action sport and zoom in on every little detail, the dirt flying, the bulls looking at a guy, you can see the way his eyes are looking, you know, expressions in their faces, expressions in the cowboy's faces. The photos are powerful. They're just, it's amazing to show what this sport does when you freeze it. I'm the official photographer of the PBR. I've uh, been doing it for 22 years and I travel weekly with them across the country from events like here in Madison Square Garden to Cowboy Stadium to you know Portland, Oregon. I'm still hunting for that photo, that one photo that that sums it all up and and I guess until I find that photo I have to keep coming back to work every day to try to find that photo. I always want that best action that the higher the bull is off the ground the harder he kicks the more he's stretched out the more flashy that that photo is the 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 better it is. It's that challenge of it's such a fast-paced sport it's trying to predict that picture that's gonna happen and then be quick enough to get it. You know Football, you have some, some sidelines and you can kind of see how the play's setting up and know where they're going to throw it or if they're going to run it. This you don't know. They, they open that gate. It's going to happen out here. But you never know. They're, they're animals that you can't tell them what to do. They, they do whatever they want. It's real out here. And if you don't love it, you just don't do it. So all these guys love it and, they're, and it shows in their pictures. Hope you are ready to ride some balls. We are just moments away. When I started shooting PBR events, it was all film. And it was, it was definitely a different, slower paced world. In March of 02, I switched to digital. Then I started needing to do things more instant. Once wireless started, sometimes a hotel internet would be super slow. So I remember one year in Laughlin, Nevada, we did an event and I drove around in my rental car into parking garages of stores until I found a wireless signal that was open that was faster than what I had, the dial-up that I had in the room um, to send images. And now we're sending them after a ride before the next ride happens. It's amazing for, to think that fans cannot be here but instantly see a photo of, of what's happened. When I'm at Arena, I shoot everything wirelessly. So from the camera to the system set up here at the edge of the fence. My wife, JC's at home in Montana, logged on remotely, and she's cropping and posting them up for the PBR social media team to pull those photos and use them wherever they need. They go to the website, they go to all the social media platforms, and uh, it's all instant in real time. We have about 150 people on our photo shelter account that are pulling images daily. So it's just, it's such a monster. They use them for so much and to have that quick deployment for them is so crucial for us. This is our 25th anniversary and, and some of the, the shots of the rides throughout the years, the record breaking scores, the, the ride that makes the world champion, Justin McBride hanging on the side of a bull by his fingertips to win the world championships. There's a lot of things that stick with you. What I love about what I do is, is capturing and preserving those memories forever. They'll always be here and it, it makes me proud to know that that's what I do. Everybody wants to leave a legacy and I'm hoping that that is my legacy, this, this entire PBR archive that I've created. And I'd love to do it forever, but you, you just can't do it forever. So one day it, it'll turn over to somebody, but I hope my name always is attached to my career in the PBR.